Okay, I'm just making some overnight oats with chia in it. They had these at the Disney Resort and I was obsessed with having them in the morning. And so I figured why not make them at home? They're super easy to make. So I put some oats and some chia seeds. I put about one and a half tablespoons of chia seeds and about one third cup of oats. Um, and I like to fill it like pretty watery because the more liquid you put with almond milk or whatever milk you're using, the more the oats and the chia will absorb and it kind of gives you a bit more volume. So I'm kind of making them pretty liquidy and I'm gonna cut up some of these dried apples and put them in and then I'll top it with some walnuts and maybe some cashews because I have those as well. So stay tuned on how these look once they're all done. I'll probably put one of these in the fridge for the morning today um, for a couple hours and then eat it like late morning. Apples are on and these are going in the fridge for a couple hours. Get on home. Get on home. some K18 in my hair. You're supposed to use this for six consecutive washes. I definitely did like two and then I went away. So I didn't do any more, but I'm gonna get back on this and do at least four more. And then you're supposed to use it once every six weeks. I definitely notice a difference with this stuff. It's crazy how well it works and how like shiny and soft it makes your hair. The next thing I need to do is this skin polish. This stuff is so good and my skin is looking crusty and feeling dry and I feel like a pimple coming in I think from all the travel and food and sugar and stuff I was eating so I'm going to do this and then I'm going to do power defense on top and that should help my skin for the day hopefully feel a little bit fresher. The last two things I'm adding into my hair are this intensive spray from Bondi Boost. I've heard really good things about this to help with growth and thickness and then I'm also adding a heat protectant, and then just a few drops of this multi-peptide serum from The Ordinary. I've also heard really good things for this for hair growth as well. I just got showered and put my makeup on, did my hair because we have an interview with a local news station this afternoon, and then I have to go straight from there to three showings with a client who I have to pick up, um, which like I hate driving clients around, it's so stressful. Like this client's so nice and not awkward at all, but it's always stressful driving your client because what if they're judging your driving? What if you make a wrong turn? <laughs> like, it just stresses me out. So I am getting myself all ready for that. I have to pack a change of clothes because I'll be wearing bike stuff for the interview. And then um, obviously just regular work clothes for the showing, so I'm just trying to prepare for that. It's about 12.10 right now. Oh my God, I have Gia's hair on my nose. It's about 12.10, I've just been working this morning. Um, I gave Gia a bath. She wasn't feeling good last night. She actually threw up in the middle of the night, but um, I have to leave here around 12.45. So I'm just getting the final touches done, packed, etc., and then I will head out around 12.45. Emotions. <laughs> Um, I the next team we're about to introduce you to is coming off a big win. The University of Victoria Vikes cheer team competes on arguably one of the largest stages of any UVic team. The squad became world champs. From practice, it was a high that I had never experienced before. It's all still sinking in. They're only really just gone as a team. There was some times that we were struggling. We were able to overcome them. Just got home from a showings and the Czech News interview we did. Now we're heading off to my parents' house for dinner. We're having lasagna. So excited. Good morning. I just got up this morning, took Gia out and dropped Jay off. And now I'm just in the underground parking for the gym, trying to finish my Starbucks so I can go up and get a workout in. I just need to like sweat a little bit. All the food from Florida is like so gross honestly like it's not good food there so I just feel like I need to sweat maybe do like a light like workout some core 
um, and then head home and I have a lunch today and kind of just picking up on some work. I have to print some stuff at the office, go pick up a check, go pick up a sign and um, just do like the odds and ends stuff that I couldn't do remotely. Um, my coffee today is, they were out of cold brew. So I got an, just an iced coffee with soy milk. I've been really into soy milk lately. Um, but the iced coffee at Starbucks is actually pretty good. Like I didn't think, it, I thought it was gonna be really bad because I just remember Starbucks coffee being so like acidic. But this is quite nice actually and I might get this again. So good to know, you don't always have to go with the cold brew and that the actual just plain iced coffee is decent. But just make sure you take out the sweetener because they, when you order it right off the bat, they include four pumps of sweetener. Who is drinking four pumps of sweetener? Like that is insane. So I did no sweetener, splash of soy milk, good to go. So I'm gonna head up for my workout and I'll check in later in the day. Done my workout, I ended up just doing cardio for an hour. Um, just an incline walk. I had a bit of work to do on my phone, so I just kind of worked on that while I walked, which was nice. I did a little bit of core at the end. <sighs> and now I gotta zip home, shower, then change, eat some breakfast, um, and then go to the office. It was good, I needed a good sweat, so I'm happy about that. So anyway, I will talk to you soon. This is literally the best breakfast ever. It's not necessarily like low calorie or anything, but I'm just trying to get myself some nutrients after eating like chicken fingers and things like that in Florida. So I just want some like whole foods. This is water buffalo yogurt. It's so freaking good. If you hadn't have, haven't had water buffalo yogurt, you should try it. It's so creamy and good. Um, some nuts, some dried apples, kiwi, and then under here is oats and chia. Okay, disregard the mess here, but this is my outfit. Pants from Zara, Dunks, black crop sweater that I got in Florida, my little vest, my Telfar bag, casual, easy office fit, just for a quick little lunch with the gals, and then get myself home. It is literally so messy in this room. It's always messy in here. Let's go to work. On my way to the office, and today I have a bit of a laundry list of things to get done. Um, I have to inquire with a strata, well, a couple stratas actually, about some properties my client is interested in. She wants to know if adding laundry into the unit would be possible, so it's just kind of inquiries there. I have a post I need to do for Clinic 805. I need to get that up today. I'm still kind of deciding what route I want to go with it, so. It's gonna take some creative brainstorming, which will probably be a couple hours. And then I have five showings booked tomorrow with um, some new clients of mine. So I need to print off feature sheets and send them the final like itinerary of the day and just get all prepared for that um, for tomorrow. I also have to go to the office and pick up a sign and uh, a check. So quite a few little things to do, just heading to the office now. So ready to put my head down and get some work done and finish the catch up of all the things that I need to do. jumped out of bed this morning because a uh, property we were planning to show, I was planning to show with clients at 2 p.m., ended up receiving an offer this morning and it's the offer they have in hand is only open until 2 p.m. So we are zipping over there. It's 10 o'clock right now, trying to get ourselves in 
to this listing and see if my clients like it and potentially submit an offer with alongside that other offer. Funny to be in multiples when the market is like so different, but this week especially, it's been very, very busy and a lot of listings haven't come to market yet and a lot of buyers have kind of come out of the holiday funk, so I feel like that's just what we're seeing here. Um, another property that we went to see yesterday also received an offer that day, so uh, my clients decided to pass on it, but it's just, it's happening, it's moving and grooving right now, so it's a good time for people to list. Um, so we'll see kind of what happens. This one's a major reno job. It's in a nice area, it's a nice big house and a nice big lot, but um, the actual work that needs to be done is gonna be probably a couple hundred thousand dollars. So it'd be a commitment for my clients and they're just gonna kind of decide whether or not they want to take that on or not. But I've had like so many showings in the past couple days. A lot of my clients getting excited again, seeing listings kind of sit or drop or new ones come on. So it's good for them. I'm excited for them. People who've been waiting a long time to buy are finally feeling maybe like they have the opportunity to get in there. So um, we're just going to kind of keep pushing through, keep the showings going and keep an eye out for all of them. Later today, I'm going to go meet up with my friend Carly. We're gonna go grab lunch at a place that we love to go to. We've gone there for like years and years. It's called the Dutch Bakery. And it's like the most diner style, like it's a really unique, weird place, but we love it. And we normally go get a Diet Coke and um, a croquette burger and just sit and chat. So I'm excited to do that. All right, the showing was no bueno. Um, the house needed a ton of work, way more than we had expected. It just was configured weirdly and you'd have to walk, knock down a bunch of walls and it was just not, not good. So, um, I'm now at the grocery store. This is like a really cute little market store. So I'm going to pick up some like nice healthy food, some fresh veggies. This is more of like a farm market kind of style grocery. And I was in the area so I figured I might as well stop at this one because I actually enjoy shopping here versus just like the regular grocery store. So I'll, I'll give you a haul of what I end up buying. Can you believe that that was $130? The price of groceries right now is insane. Okay. Grocery haul. What did we get? We got some Parmesan cheese petals, some mini pearl bocconcinis. Yum. I love these. This stuff will literally change your life. It's so good. It's so not good for you, but it's so good on anything. Had to pick this up. Some cherry tomatoes. Some little rice snacks. Extra lean ground beef for taco night, pasta sauce, broccolini. Turkey Smokies, I like to have these just like on hand because they're, wow, these were so expensive. Oh my gosh. Why did I think these were like $5.99? These were $17. I so would not have bought these if I knew they were $17. Anyway. Turkey Smokies, baby cukes, some eggs, some feta, some arugula, corn, tortillas, also for taco night. Asiago chicken sausage, 10 bucks for four, which is a way better deal than my goddamn Smokies. Anyone who knows, knows that I am addicted to these right now. Pomelos, so good. Snap peas. The world's most massive yam, and some shallots. And that is all. That's all. Our TV fell off of our mount, so we have to remount that. It's a huge pain in the butt, but I gotta find someone to get that back up onto the brick. It's really hard to mount things onto brick, because brick is really porous, so it like grinds down. Um, but apparently there's a guy who does it 
So hopefully he can come and do it for us. I don't even know how we got it. Okay, I picked up this glutamine and I used to take glutamine consistently every day, but it was just the plain unflavored stuff and it really did help my gut health. I had leaky gut back in the day which was like just always bloated, always had stomach ache, had allergies, like hives and things going on. So I combated that. I'm back on good schedule and like good gut health for the past like two years, I'd say. But I do want to start taking this again because I'm noticing I'm getting hives here and there and I kind of want to combat this before it gets into anything that's worse. So I got the orange flavor. I'm excited to try the orange because I really hate the flavor of the plain stuff. It's like kind of acidic tasting. Um, this is new and improved flavor. So I'll try it out, let you know what I think, but hopefully I can just like have a scoop of this with water and it's like enjoyable, a nice little like fruity drink once a day kind of thing. Yeah, don't hope, yeah.